Hey guys, welcome to Son of a Pizza Man. I'm Enzo, and today we are making something that I've never made before, and I'm kind of scared uh, because I don't know how it's going to turn out. But uh, we're making a Neapolitan pizza. And the reason I am attempting a Neapolitan pizza is because I just made a purchase. I just purchased the Breville Smart Oven Pizzaiola. So the oven gets up to, I think, 750, which is enough to mimic a wood-fired oven, which is what typically Neapolitan pizza requires. So, um, fingers crossed, <laughs> I'm gonna try this out. Hopefully it turns out awesome. I'm actually using the recipe from the Breville uh, recipe card that came with the oven. So hopefully it works. Typically with Neapolitan pizza dough recipes, they call for double zero flour, but for some reason this one calls for bread flour. So uh, I don't know if that's normal, if you can really substitute those out. Maybe you can, I don't know. Um, but we're gonna try it anyway, so let's go. So we're gonna need four ingredients. Flour, salt, yeast, and water, and that's it. So I know that salt and yeast do not play well together, and the recipe doesn't mention anything about that, so I'm not sure why. Um, so that's why I'm a little suspect about this recipe, but we're gonna try it. All right, so let's make the dough. Gonna add some of the flour. Gonna add all the water. And we're going to add the yeast. I'm going to let it blend a little bit. I'm gonna actually mix in the salt with the flour just to kind of coat it so it tricks the, the yeast. So it's not like a direct whatever. I'm not sure what the issue is. I, want, I need to maybe look into that the whole salt yeast thing. I'm gonna stick the rest of the flour in there with the salt. And then let it go. So according to the recipe, it says to mix for five to six minutes. Um, so we'll see how that goes. So the dough has been mixing for between five and six minutes. I just turned it off. So the instructions say next to cover it with some plastic wrap or a towel or something, and then let it sit at room temperature for about 45 to 60 minutes. So, so it has time to rise and do its stuff. Uh, so we're gonna do that and then we'll be right back. Welcome back. So it's been about an hour and the dough has risen a little bit, not as, not as much as I thought it would. And I don't know if it's because the yeast and water didn't have time to bloom and do all that stuff beforehand, but I don't know, we'll see. Uh, so now the next step is to kind of punch it down. Um, well, not really punch it down because there's nothing to really punch down, <laughs> but uh, we're going to divide this into four balls and then um, stick it in the fridge. I'm gonna kind of make this motion here. And then here's my my one dough ball. So I'm gonna do that for all four of them. And I have a cookie sheet here that I'm gonna use. And I'm going to place them on the cookie sheet. I have some wax paper on it because this is not a clean cookie sheet, so I just wanna make sure that it doesn't get weird or gross. Uh, and then these are going to sit in the fridge overnight, and then we'll come back tomorrow and actually open the dough and make our delicious Neapolitan pizzas. So I will see you tomorrow. So it is the next day, and the dough balls have been in the fridge and they've kind of been chilling for about an hour outside. 
And now we're going to open the dough balls up. So I have two here, but I'm just gonna use one. And here we go. I'm gonna use my bench scraper to take up the one dough ball. Gonna flour my surface. Get the dough ball nice and floured. And I'm going to just kind of leave a little little crust, a little little edge there. Flip it around, do the same thing. The dough is actually really soft, which is good. All right, so I'm gonna do this action. Crazy how, how soft this is. I was not expecting that using bread flour, but I have been proven wrong. So this is a good, this is about 10 to 12 inches. So I'm just gonna go with it. Uh, so in this Breville oven, it cooks uh, these pizzas in two minutes. So we shall see how, how well that, that works. I'm hoping it works, it should work. But I'm gonna go get my pizza peel that I have dusted with some semolina. So we're gonna put the dough onto the pizza peel. So I was recently at the Pizza Expo in Vegas and I met up with the Muti people and Muti makes pizza sauces. They just came out with this line. Um, I was able to try all of these different flavors and I'll, I'll get to them in a second, but they are delicious. So their whole thing is freshness. These taste super fresh. Um, they are really delicious. So if you see these pizza sauces, these Muti pizza sauces, I would definitely pick them up. So they have this Parma, which is uh, Parmigiano Reggiano, and there are actually little like chunks of cheese in here, which is awesome. And then the Positano, which is garlic and oregano, which um, is a very standard pizza sauce. And the one we're using today is the Napoli, which is fresh basil and extra virgin olive oil. The basil taste in here is crazy. Um, it tastes like fresh basil, which is how it should taste. So, so like I said, we're gonna use the Napoli pizza sauce. Smells so good. So I'm just gonna spread some around here. So we're making a margarita pizza. If I failed to mention that, um, margarita pizza is the classic Neapolitan pizza essentially sauce, fresh mozzarella, and basil. So super classic ingredients. And then I have these um, mozzarella balls, these tiny little mozzarella balls. Any type of fresh mozzarella will do. So I'm just gonna kinda squish them and put them on the pizza kinda sparingly. And then I'm gonna use some fresh basil and just plop it on there. And I'm gonna reserve a few for the, uh, to finish it when, I, when it comes out. Just make sure the pizza doesn't stick to the peel. Looks good. So here we go. I am super excited about this. I hope this actually works. So here we go. It's going into the oven. So this should take Two minutes. I'll see you in two. There it is. There's the timer. So I'm going to take it out. Oh man. Hey baby. 
gonna call a professional taste tester in. Yes. Hi. So we have our Neapolitan pizza. <laughs> All, right. All right. Try it. Let me know. It's so hot. Um, but it tastes very good. Um, it's great. Oh, the sauce is cool. Okay. <laughs> it's enough. I liked it. It's very chewy. It's crispy on the bottom, just like a Neapolitan style pizza should be. So yeah, this, uh, I don't know, I think my first attempt at a Neapolitan was pretty good. Uh, it was tasty, it was kind of easy to do, and I would definitely be making more. So uh, thanks guys for watching as always. Uh, if you haven't already, please remember to subscribe and like up this video. And until next time, ciao for now. The only one who could ever need me was the son of a pizza man. The only boy who could